It's been a long time coming from the SC Sakalana, baby. Sometimes it feels like the world is against me. Cause I'm coming from SC. From heartache and pain, struggle and strain. Trying to maintain for the SC. So, mama, don't worry. Hey, I'ma make my dreams happen. Question of the day Disposable implements blank. A. Are generally made of stainless steel. B. Are generally made of nickel plated metal. C. Must be thrown away after single use. D. Must be thrown away after several uses. The answer will be revealed at the end of the video. A shout out praise break i want to give these four amazing subscribers a shout out adelie omb raw 4577 aka row creations by brie And Flawlessly Unique Nails. Thank you all for being the first four to comment on my latest post. And having your post notification bells turned on. Hi guys. Welcome, welcome back to the Nail Genie SC. How are you? I hope you are well and your family is doing well. Do me a favor if you don't mind. If this is your first time visiting the channel, consider subscribing. And if you've been here with me and are returning... Thank you for coming back. Go ahead and hit that like button for me. It helps out the channel a great deal and help pushes our content out to many more amazing subscribers such as yourself. So guys, getting into today's video, it is Virgo season. Yes. <laughs> so the Virgos, come to the front. Come to the front. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So Virgo um, Birthstone is the Sapphire. Definitely one of the most famous, if not the most famous gemstone in the world. The sapphire, sapphires come, in, the sapphire. Sapphires come in a wide variety of colors. There are pink, orange, yellow, purple, green, and even colorless sapphires. The rarest color is a mix of orange and pink. So guys, as you know, I always do a custom uh, mix for each um, Zodiac series and this is no different so you guys have seen um, that powder there that is nothing but gorgeous glitters all packed into one with some clear acrylic mitts and I was I used all of those colors that I just named so I used blue I used pink I used orange yellow purple green and even uh, like a white um, or a clear more like a translucent uh, glitter like a white glitter um, so yeah I used all of those colors to make this beautiful gorgeous gorgeous glitter and I was like I think out of all of the glitters I made this one is at the top of my list I think I like this one the most now guys I am not a Virgo <laughs> by no means I am a Scorpio but you all know that I like to do the um, Zodiac series for each um, sign this year. That's what we're doing. And so I wanted to give you guys this video. And look, I'm giving it to you a little early. Ain't you proud of me? I'm proud of myself. <laughs> so born between August 23rd and September 22nd, Virgos like you are adored by everyone they meet. Not only are you extremely elegant and mature, but your love for the simple things in life constantly draws people to you. Of course, while you may prefer the basics, you are anything but basic, which is probably why the blue sapphire 
is the official Virgo birthstone. Now, guys, I should have been a Virgo because you all know how much I love blue. I'm just saying. <laughs> all right, we're going to get into talking about our Virgo and find out a little bit about our Virgo friends. All right, guys, so let's get to it. What type of person is a Virgo? Okay. On the appearance, Virgos are humble, self-effacing, industrious, and practical. But under the surface, they are frequently natural, kind, and sympathetic as, as befit their zodiac sign. Virgoians are methodical and quick thinkers, yet they have so much mental energy that they are frequently stressed and tensed. So we did talk about the Virgo dates. Um, so the Virgo dates are August 23rd to September 22nd. So for those Virgos that are... Uh, born between August 23rd and September 22nd. This video is for you. I want to wish you all a very happy birthday. And I hope your birthday is blessed with nothing but full of joy. Okay? Alright, so I have quite a bit of Virgos in my family. I have a cousin that was born on August 27th. I have a, another cousin born on September the 8th. I have another cousin that was born on September the 11th. I have a nephew that was born on September 11th. I have a niece that was born on September 20th. So, yes, I am rooted in Virgos. So, I got to figure out about, I got to I gotta find out a little bit about them that they don't think I would know, right? So, Virgos are logical, practical, and systematic in their approach to life. Virgo is an earth sign, historically represented by the goddess of wheat and agriculture. An association that speaks to Virgo's deep-rooted presence in the material world. Guys, if you hear a dog barking, I'm, I do apologize. My neighbors have their little puppy out, and he is not happy about it. <laughs> Alright, so what is Virgo's weakness in life? Weaknesses, timidity, bother, abnormal criticism, and work in the first place. Virgo's likes are pets, health, books, nature, and tidiness. It says, Virgo people may aim for perfection, but in doing so, they can become overly critical. What is a Virgo spiritual? Uh, what is a Vir Virgo spirit animal? In essence, the fox, as Virgo's spirit animal, beautifully represents their intelligence, adaptability, and meticulous nature. Virgo bear. Both approach tasks meticulously, but can lose composure under extreme pressure. So I think it's two types of spirit animals, the fox and the bear. All right, so what makes a Virgo angry? Hmm, let's, let me find out. <laughs> it says, Virgo's perfectionist at heart. Virgos like their lives to be neat and organized. I can see that. And messing up this order of things could earn you a permanent spot in their bad books. However, since they aren't the best at vocalizing their feelings, you could probably go years without realizing what you have done to offend a Virgo. What makes a Virgo happy? What makes Virgos happy? To be happy, Virgos need to feel like they're being useful. They feel productive by contributing to something larger than themselves. A clean house. 
Virgo's attention to detail and diligently love for order makes them euphoric when their environment is neat and tidy. Now, I'm going to put a question mark on that. (laughs) Because I told you guys I have two cousins, a nephew, a niece, and I can see it in my niece. Not so much so in the other ones. But, hey, that's just what I see. What is a Virgo soulmate? So, who's the best match for Virgo? Virgo, practically an analytical, seeks a soulmate who shares their pragmatic and commitment to self-improvement. Taurus and Capricorn provide the stability and dedication that Virgo seeks. Fostering a partnership Grounded in mutual support and growth. Okay. Now, guys, I love, 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 love this glitter that I had to do a few, you know, I had to get, I had to put it in there. And I'm only going to be using two colors today in this set. I'm going to be using this gorgeous glitter mitts that I made, custom mitts, and I'm going to be using that blue. Now, that blue is not from Not Polish. It's actually from, um, Sugar acrylics with an X on, um, she's, um, she's a, uh, content creator over on Instagram. I found her through Instagram and I had purchased some acrylics from her and her acrylics are so rich in pigment that I had to, uh, separate it and add a little bit more clear to the powder so I can work with it, but it's just an absolute gorgeous color. And no matter how much, I I did a half and half type jar, and I'll be sharing with you guys the original container at the end, but I'm sorry guys, I don't know what happened to the label on the bottom of this blue. Um, If any of my nail sisters have this blue, can you leave a... um, the name of it in the comment section for me, I would appreciate it, but I don't have, um, the name, um, because apparently the name fell off somewhere, maybe in my drawer, maybe amongst all of this other stuff I have, but I'm sorry, I don't have the name, but this is an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous blue, and I got it from Sugar Acrylics over on Instagram, so I will share her information for you guys if you want to shop, um, her acrylics. All right, so who is attracted to Virgo? Astrologers say that Virgo tends to be most compatible with hmm, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries, Taurus, and Cancer. Okay, I can see that. I guess. (laughs) I mean, I know my sign, Scorpios, we can pretty much get along with majority of the zodiac so yeah i can see that for myself okay virgos are compassionate and conscientious in love they are subtle in their flirtation and like to take things slow at first now guys if you remember back when we just did the uh our series on um the leos You guys remember at the end of that, I was telling you guys, I'm going to find out if my husband is like in the mix of the Leo and the Virgo because he was right at the end of Leo season. He was actually August 22nd. All right. So I did find out that my husband is like a mix. Like he is a coat. I can't remember what it was called, but his sign um, doubles between... um, the Leos and Virgo. So my husband, a lot of his traits are more on the Virgo side of things instead of the Leo side of things. So when I'm looking at this, it reminds me a lot of, or when I read about some of this, a lot of that I do see the quality and traits in my husband. So yeah, that's why I said I can see um, the attraction level for um, the Virgo and Scorpio because the Virgo part of my husband and I we get we mesh so well together uh we are each other's um yin and yang if that makes sense all right so Virgos are compassionate and conscientious conscientious in love 
They are subtle in their flirtation and like to take things slow at first. They take things head on in a quiet and unshowy way. They tackle life pragmatically and seek to resolve any and all little issues within their circle. I can see that. What is Virgo's biggest problem? What are Virgo's weaknesses? Virgo's greatest strength, their meticulous attention to detail. It's also their most significant and most severe weakness. Their notorious perfectionism means they set incredibly high standards for themselves, often to un to an unrealistic degree. You know, <laughs> you know, I could see that, um, especially uh, with my um, cousins and my niece and nephew. They are um, they want everything. They set the bar high for themselves so they can reach that high mark. And they do. They do. So I can see why things in their life is so, you know, moving along and moving ahead. But I can also see when the stress builds up and, the, and, and you know, everything starts hitting them at once. I can see why now because they set the mark too high for themselves. But they want to meet. They want to master that. So. All right, what's Virgo's favorite color? Green, brown, blue, and white are known as the power colors for Virgo. The best colors for Virgos are brown and green. These earthy tones represent stability and growth, which perfectly align with Virgo energy. And you know, my one of my cousins, her favorite color is green. And she's a Virgo. So now I can, you know, they look good in in, in those colors. Um, we actually, uh, my niece and nephew was, we all wore the, where we was all supposed to wear the green color today. They did, and they look good in it. So, um, yeah, I can see the green and brown being their favorite color, that natural earth tone. Okay, so why is Virgo so powerful? Why is Virgo so powerful? Virgo, the mating symbol zodiac sign embodies reliability, loyalty, problem solving skills, adaptability, and practicality. They excel in time management, attention to detail, and are known for their trustworthiness and dependability. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, guys, if you don't have a Virgo in your life, even a Virgo friend or a Virgo, find you a Virgo and get them in your life, okay? These are the kind of people you want around you. It's going to help you grow. You know what I'm saying? What powers does a Virgo have? Being an earth sign makes them grounded. Finding values in routines and daily rituals. Virgo's earthly energy enables them to create game plans, set reasonable deadlines, and implement healthy habits to stay on track with their goals. Repetitive motion is also a secret way that Virgos calm down. That's uh, written by someone named Says Marquot or Mar. Mar court all right so let's see let's find some more good funny and interesting things about the virgo so how are you guys liking this set so far i am absolutely in love in, in love with all of it but of course i would be do virgos forgive easily Virgo is known for their analytic mind. Analytical minds might struggle with forgiveness due to their tendency to overthink things. And I think a lot of people struggle with that. I don't think it's just one sign that struggle with um, 
forgiveness. I believe that is a everybody thing. <laughs> a lot of people struggle to forgive um, because they overthink things in their own mind. Um, and after, and I always say, when you start to overthink things in your own mind, you now taken out of the reality of things, and now you're into that um, realm of um, what is what is the word I'm trying to use? You are in that um, make believe realm. You making up the narrative. You making up the the narrative of what someone thinking or someone saying or someone's feeling. And, you know, and I want I personally. I want to be better than that. So I try to find ways to forgive and move forward and get things settled because I don't want to be that overthinker. I used to be that girl and I don't I didn't like her very much. So, yeah. But I think every sign struggle with that. All right. So, let's see. Why is Virgo so attractive? Hmm. Virgos are attractive because they're intelligent, clever, and adaptable. They're very loyal friends and partners, and they value honesty and sincerity. I can see that. I know that. <laughs> I'm living with that. <laughs> so, yeah, I see that. All right, let's look at this, just in case you out here looking for your Virgo. Are Virgos faithful in relationship? They're very loyal and put lots of effort into caring for their partner. You better get you one. Child, you better get you one. Okay. All right, guys, so let me see. I, I want to keep strolling along, child. I can keep strolling along because they got a lot. They got a lot. <laughs> but uh, let's see here. Now, I am going to create the Virgo sign or the, I think it's, what is it? The, her, the, the woman, um, that's what's in the um, constellation. You can see, you know. Um, her in there so I am going to create her on this nail um, I hope you guys can notice it or see it when it's done um, while I was doing it it didn't make sense but when it got finished I could see it it makes lots of sense to me so yeah what is Virgo's most beautiful feature Virgos are attractive because they're intelligent clever and adaptable they're very, very loyal friends and partners, and they value honesty and sincerity. So, majority of these are the same. I mean, the characteristics don't change for a Virgo. They're kind, caring, and faithful, intelligent, clever, and adaptable. Um, just like with anybody, everybody have their weaknesses and everybody have their strong points. Um, but I do find um, Virgos, from reading about them, and if you guys want to read up on Virgos, just go on Google. <laughs> That's where I'm at. I mean, a lot of it, you'll have Virgos to say, no, that don't sound like me. And then you'll have Virgos to say, yeah, that sounds like me. Um, but a lot of it, you know, is what overall the consensus, not saying that it's an exact to that person or, you know, you know who that person is but overall the consensus of putting virgos together this is what you may or may not get um from your virgo okay so this is all in fun and this is just you know i'm not saying this is factual or knowledge that i know of but it's all in fun and fun and learning you know your people right learning um how you know the friends that you have or Knowing their birthday months or knowing the uh, the the husband or the children that you uh, the husband that you have the children you create what are their personality traits a lot of times we don't I'm gonna tell you for me it's not like something when my baby came into this world I was like oh let me Google this Libra 
And let me see if we, you know, because that's my child. I'm going to be there for her. I'm going to do everything for her, whether we are uh, compatible or not, you know. <laughs> so um, it's not like we do that, right? Um, I didn't do that when I found my husband. I just, we just, it was love. God put us together. It was, we just continued to grow and build. But as I did the series, I'm starting to learn and see some of the uniqueness in the family, the friends, the child, you know, the stuff that I've I've never paid attention to until now, right? And so now you can know, you know, okay, well, why do they act that way? Well, why do they shut down when, you know, things get like this? You know, it's those things that help you along the way. And it tells you, you know, because at some point, as a person, you got to learn when to stop. You got to learn when to leave someone alone. You got to learn <laughs> when you have pushed the button. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got to learn that you can't keep pushing buttons. And so these kind of things help you to know the kind of people you're dealing with. You know, if those are the people that's in your life. Are Virgos mentally strong? Virgos pays attention to details and like to solve problems practically. They care about others and want to help in practical ways. Even though they're practical, they're also mentally strong. They have a strong mindset and can face challenges with determination and focus. Do Virgos push people away? Unfortunately, a disinterested Virgo may cool things down indefinitely just to make a point. Think about the last time you both took a roll in the hay. If weeks and months have passed since your last rump, there's a good chance that he's pushing you away. Try to keep context in mind before jumping to any conclusion. <laughs> and what trips me out is they got it highlighted and then it's a good chance that he's pushing you away as if uh we want like the woman can't do the pushing away but guys you know that whenever anything is based in a he it's because uh the whole you know man was here first and women was born from a man so just remember keep that in mind they're not singling women out to say that we chase behind a man they just saying they just use he as the main uh person do virgos have trust issues if they discover they've trusted the wrong person they might feel embarrassed and angry they will confront the person and may decide to end the friendship or relationship Virgos are practical and analytical. If they realize they've been deceived, they might feel disappointed in themselves. All right, now. What makes a Virgo angry? <laughs> All right. So, Virgos perfectionists at heart. Virgos like their lives to be neat and organized and messing up this order of things could earn you a permanent spot in their bad books however since they aren't the best of vocalizing their feelings you could probably go years without releasing what you have done to offend a virgo wow Alright guys, so we are at the end of application and we're going to go into the nail art portion and I think that we've discussed the Virgo a little bit well today. If you are a Virgo <laughs> and these signs or this, what we've discussed, this topic of discussion is a little bit you or not you at all or I'm on the, you know, I hit the nail on the head and I'm right in it, and I'm, you know, I learned. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Virgo. Tell me if any of these are true to form. Um, 
do you see your recognize yourself in any of this um have someone told you that or is that something that you know that you possess um in your spirit um so yeah tell me a little bit about um your virgo self all right guys i'm gonna let you all enjoy some music i will be back close to the end of the video to say my final goodbyes i hope you all enjoy um this video and um Again, to all the Virgos, happy, happy, happy birthday to you all. I hope this season uh, treats you well. I hope and ble I hope, hope you all are blessed <laughs> with an amazing birthday and many, many more amazing years to come. And I will be back. Enjoy. <laughs>
right, guys, so I just wanted to pop back in and just say thank you all for your continued support to my channel. I truly, truly appreciate you all so very much. If you are here and have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead, if you would, and hit that subscribe button for me. I would love to have you here. I would love to have your support. It's free to you, and it does not cost a thing to hit the subscribe and give me a like. It'll help push our content out to many, many more amazing subscribers such as yourself. So, for my Virgos, I hope you enjoyed the set today. I really enjoyed creating it. Um, it was just one of those uh, off the top of your head. You try to just do something. But I think it's the glitters. The glitters make the set and it really help the, you know, help things come together. But the whole purpose behind the Zodiac series is just to create uh, some custom glitter mitts using um, those uh, beautiful crystals in each Zodiac or the birthstones in each Zodiac um, to, you know, uh, see what you can come up with. So I love, love, love this one. This is by far, I think, at the top of the list. Um, and someone, got someone will win the entire Zodiac series. Once we're done with Capricorn, we will do a drawing and someone will win this entire zodiac series of all of the different mixes that i have made um some will be full some won't be so full because i can't remember what i did so i can't create it for you again so whatever i have left in the mix you are you will win it um so it'll be enough where you can create your own um set with but someone will win the entire series of my custom mixes at the end of our Zodiac series. Alright guys, so our uh, Libras will be up next, but let our Virgos enjoy their season. Alright, until the next time, I will see you all in my next video. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, Share and subscribe. Follow me over on all of my socials at the Nail Genie SC. And our answer to the question of the day will be coming up. And we'll have our final picks. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video.